Hey everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. My name's Jonathan. I make luxury videos, unboxings, and reviews. And today's video is the all about my luxury SLGs tag. So let's get into it. started with today's video don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if this is your first second third fourth fifth sixth time joining me on my channel definitely hit that subscribe button what are you waiting for or if you're a luxury addict like me or just love Louis Vuitton you're definitely 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 gonna love it here so definitely hit that subscribe button and join my luxury addicted family so without further ado let's get into the video so starting things off with this video is my recent or my most recent Louis Vuitton SLG and that is going to be my pocket organizer with the Nico collab and I absolutely love this. I have recently come to a realization that I am a pocket organi organizer kind of person so I love 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 using small compact wallets compared to my larger wallets which I have not been gravitating towards. I don't know if it's because of the whole COVID situation but I find myself downsizing a lot of the time now and carrying the bare minimum with me so I ended up getting this one I got this on a luxury group on Facebook the seller had not used it and I will leave a link up to my unboxing video in the cards so that way you can check it out but yeah this is my very first or my newest SLG currently the next SLG that I'm going to be sharing with you is not necessarily my oldest one but it is in my opinion considered one of the oldest ones just because um, <laughs> of how it looks so this was actually gifted to me by an ex-boyfriend and he wanted to add this into my collection, which I am completely grateful for that he was able to do that and it was just really thoughtful of him. Um, but to be honest, this did not wear as well as I thought. Um, I use this like every single day for a good like two, three years and the hardware started to chip and I actually had a misfortunate event where the canvas actually cracked. So that's why I don't necessarily use this anymore. But I did use it to hold my car keys on it. I used it to hold some coins. I used it to carry some cards. And I just use this as like a daily pouch. Like this was like one of my like most used SLGs back in the day when I first started collecting Louis Vuitton. So I consider it my oldest one just because of how how it looks and how it's aged over the time. But um, I definitely do like it and I consider this my oldest SLG. So the next question is going to be my most expensive Louis Vuitton SLG. Mom, if you're watching, don't kill me. Um, it is going to be my Louis Vuitton Macosser wallet. So this wallet actually retails currently for just a little bit over 1,000 Canadian dollars, which I know is extremely expensive for a wallet, but hear me out. My best friends actually pulled their money together to be able to get this to me for Christmas. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for getting me this wallet. I absolutely love it. And I use this wallet around the holiday season. So this wallet is really large. And so I'm able to fill a lot of my receipts, my cards and my cash when I ever end up using cash. And so I use this only around the holiday season just because I feel like it's a really great wallet to just hold in your hand to walk around the mall with to make sure that you have like all your receipts together. So I just love carrying this with me when I'm going on my calls or when I'm just going shopping in general. So I definitely love this wallet and I'm so happy that my friends pulled their money and add, helped me add this to my collection. The next question is going to be the cheapest SLG I have and so that is going to be without a doubt my Louis Vuitton key pouches. So I do have them all in the in the prints that they do have. And so currently this is going to be the cheapest SLG that I have in my collection. I'm actually not too sure if there is anything cheaper on the Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton website, but these retail for about 300 Canadian dollars right now. So these are technically my cheapest SLG. This one technically being the cheapest because I did get it gifted by an ex-boyfriend as I did mention. These key pouches are really, really great if you wanted to start off your Louis Vuitton collection just because of how versatile there is. That's why I, I kind of have all three. I'm also weird where I like to match my wallets with my key pouches. I don't know. 
that's just me but yeah these are definitely very versatile you can keep your coins in here you can keep your cards in here you can keep your keys in here if you wanted to you can use these as bag charms there's just so many different ways that you can use these items I highly highly recommend if you really just wanted to start off your Louis Vuitton collection and want to see how the brand is gonna fit into your lifestyle I definitely definitely recommend you picking up one of these guys to see how the, you will enjoy the brand and how you will enjoy the material but yeah, so this is going to be, without a doubt, my cheapest SLG to date. So my next SLG is going to be my everyday SLG. And I use this guy every single day, even still while in quarantine. It actually houses my work keys. And I have very special tokens in here that I need to use for work on a daily basis. And when I was taking the GO train or the transit in Canada, you're actually I am actually able to fit my Metro Pass in here. And what's cool about this guy is I'm able to actually tap on and off of the train without having to take out my Metro Pass all, all the time. So this guy stayed with me every single day. I would use this honestly on nonstop and I would not leave house with my house without it. So I highly recommend if you don't want to be a person that has the key pouch as your first Louis Vuitton item, I definitely, definitely recommend getting the six key ring holder just because it's so versatile. I know a lot of people actually use this as like a mini wallet just because you can fit, fit some cards, some cash, and you can hold up to like six keys. So I highly, highly recommend getting this piece. If you were on the fence about it, just do it. You're not going to regret it. I highly recommend getting the six key ring holder. I definitely use it every single day. So I have gotten my wear per use out of it. So yeah, this is gonna be have to be my everyday SLG. So the next question is gonna be the SLG with the favorite memory attached to it. And that's hands down gonna have to be my Louis Vuitton pocket organizer. I actually picked this up in Palm Springs and I was traveling with my ex-boyfriend at the time. And that was the very first trip that I took with a significant other outside of my current uh, country. So I wanted to go to the Louis Vuitton boutique and purchase something to make that memory instilled. So I ended up picking up this guy and uh, to be honest, I will never forget that, that that trip, that day, that moment in time where I was able to travel outside of my current country with a significant other because it was my very first trip. So that has got to be my favorite memory of having this pocket organizer and every time that I do use it, which I am currently using it, it does bring back those good memories of when I was with my ex-boyfriend at the time. But yeah, I definitely want to, will associate that favorite memory with this pocket organizer. And I still even remember to this day, just like going to the mall with him, helping him helping me pick it out. And then I was actually able to get it hot stamped. I'm currently using the wallet, by the way. Um, he actually helped me get it hot stamped. And so it was just a whole process and then I just really enjoyed it. So this has got to be my favorite, favorable memory with my SLG. So the next question is going to be the SLG that is worth the hype. And so this question and then one that's going to follow after is going to be kind of contradictory, but hear me out. So the one that is worth the hype for me is going to have to be designer AirPod covers. I know, what am I thinking? Is technology, why do I buy a designer AirPod cover. The cover literally is from Burberry and it actually costs more than the actual AirPods themselves, but I can use this in different ways. So I don't necessarily upgrade my AirPods as much as they do get released, which is why I decided to purchase one of these covers because I also use these as little bag charms on my bags, as well as I carry these in my belt loop as well, just to have like a little bit of an accessory attached to my pants. So I absolutely love it, as well as you can also just hold your car keys on them as well. So in my opinion, they have a lot more functionality than the next item that I'm gonna be showing you. And that brings me to the one that is not worth the hype, and that is going to have to be designer phone cases. So I actually did have the monogram version of this before, but I ended up selling it just because I wasn't using these. I just keep this for a fact in my closet. And so for me, what is definitely not worth the hype is gonna be phone cases. So I'm the type of person who likes to change their phone every year or when the new iPhone gets released, I do change it quite often. In recent events, I haven't been doing so, but back in the day, I was changing my phone every year or every two years. 
So with the new iPhones becoming so much more expensive now, in Canada they reach it, retail for about $1,700, $1,800, and to stick on another $1,500 for a designer phone case from Louis Vuitton makes the price point of a new phone over $3,000. So for me, it's definitely not worth it, just for the amount of times that the phones do get released and how much they do cost. I definitely do not think that designer phone cases are worth the hype. If you keep your phones and you run them to the ground, then go by all means, go buy your designer phone cases or wait for the next new model to come out and you'll be able to get designer phone cases for a lot cheaper because they are not being in demand. But for me, I definitely don't use this case at all. It literally just sits on my shelf. I did sell one of my monogram ones to one of my friends and he uses them to house their, his like portable chargers and stuff like that. For me, I don't do that just because I keep my phone fully charged at all times and so I have no need for these um, extra cases. So for right now, it's just for nostalgic purposes and I just keep these in my closet. But definitely for me, designer phone cases are not not worth the hype. So the next question is going to be my favorite SLG for my favorite designer brand. And that's honestly like a no brainer. Uh, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that my favorite uh, luxury brand is obviously going to be Louis Vuitton. So from that category, my favorite SLG is going to have to be my toiletry pouch 15. I honestly thought I wasn't going to love this as much as I would have. Um, I was debating between this or the mini pochette, but to be honest, let's be real. I am a toiletry pouch 15 kind of guy. I love my mini pochettes, don't get me wrong, but the toiletry pouch 15 I absolutely carry with me in every single bag. It carries all of my essentials. I just love how cute it is. And I just love that the white bubble lining makes it so much more carefree compared to the mini pochette. And to be honest, I don't have many uses for the mini pochette as of right now, just because we're like in lockdown and we're just not going about places. But for the Toilet Pouch 15, when I do have places to go, I literally just pop these in and out of my bags and it just makes it so much more easier. And I don't have to worry about anything spilling inside and ruining the interior just because of that wipeable lining. So hands down, I am a toilet pouch 15 kind of guy and this is my favorite SLG from Louis Vuitton. The next item that is going, I'm gonna be sharing with you is going to be considered my most used SLG. And that has got to be my Louis Vuitton initials belt in the Damier Graffite. I am a belt guy through and through. I wear a belt with every single outfit and I always find myself grabbing and going towards the Damier uh, Graffite belt that I have. I think that that just goes with just about any outfit and just helps elevate your outfit just a little bit more. That's what I personally feel like. I love wearing belts with just about any outfit that I do have, whether it be a casual outfit, whether it be a classy outfit. Like you can always just find a belt that'll fit your lifestyle and this belt honestly goes with just about any outfit that I have. I do have a Damier, a bean one, but I don't necessarily grab that one just as much as I grab this one. This one, to be honest, Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna grab this one. Out of all my designer belts, this is the one that I'm always grabbing towards. So this is obviously gonna to have to be my most used SLG to date. So the next item that I'm gonna be sharing with you is going to be my most underrated Louis Vuitton SLG. And for me, that has got to be my Toilet Tube Bag 25. To be honest, I hardly see any videos on this on YouTube. And I honestly don't understand why. I think this is an amazing piece to have just because I feel like it fits a lot more than the Toilet Tube Pouch 26. Yeah, I get it's like probably like one centimeter bigger than the toilet pouch 26. But to be honest, this is amazing. This holds so much um, items. It, honestly, I've never had any complaints. And it has that wipeable lining as well. And I honestly just find it a little bit more accessible to get than the toilet pouch 26. But I don't ever ever I don't ever see people posting videos on this guy on YouTube. So I kind of feel bad. So this is definitely gonna be my most underrated one. I honestly love it. Every ever since I purchased it, I've been my travel companion and I take this with me everywhere, every time I go traveling, whether it be a week away, whether it be two weeks away, or even if it's just overnight bag. I definitely carry with this with me because it can fit so so much. So this is definitely going to have to be my most underrated SLG. So the second last question that I have is going to be the most nostalgic SLG 
and this was a no-brainer. It is obviously going to have to be my Louis Vuitton multiple wallet in the Damier Graffite. For those of you who have been watching my channel for quite some time, I've briefly mentioned that this was my very, very first Louis Vuitton piece in general to start started off my whole crazy addiction. And I actually purchased this with my mom. We were uh, shopping in New York City and I just saved up for a ton of money so that way I would be able to afford this piece. And so my mom's like, let's just go to the Louis Vuitton boutique. So we stepped into the boutique. My mom helped me pick out this. We looked at all the various types of wallets and this one really just drew me in. I didn't end up going for the monogram at the time just because I thought it was a little bit too flashy. And I love how the Damier Graffiti was really just classic and just timeless in my opinion. So I picked this one up and I don't regret it ever since. I also did get a hot stamp with my initials and I thought that was pretty cool because I was like, what luxury brand does that? I was new to the whole monogramming thing. Don't don't judge, but I definitely did need it, wanted to get a monogram when I had the option to. So yeah, this is definitely gonna have to be my most nostalgic piece. I will never, ever, ever sell this item just because of how much sentimental value it has to me. It was my very first Louis Vuitton. I bought it with my mom. We went to New York City together. So yeah, this is gonna have to be my most nostalgic Louis Vuitton SLG to date. And the last, but certainly not least, is going to be my most disappointing Louis Vuitton SLG. I tried so, so hard to be a coin person or just to be like a cash person in general. I don't typically carry a lot of cash with me. So at the beginning of 2020, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be able to budget myself more accordingly. I'm gonna start carrying cash. That way I can keep track of my spending. And so I purchased the Louis Vuitton coin purse. So this is different than your typical round coin purse. So I thought, let me be different. Let me get a coin purse. Let me try to be a little bit outside of the circle because everybody wants to get the Louis Vuitton circle coin purse. So I wanted to be different. So I picked up the Louis Vuitton men's coin purse. So it comes in like a little rectangle. And I was like, I'm going to be able to manage my spending. I'm going to keep my budget in here. I'm going to keep my coins. I'm going to keep my cards. It has a card slot in here. And to be honest, ever since we got into quarantine, this has literally been tucked away into my closet. I have not reached for this piece. It is brand spanking new. I have yet to still use it just because I feel like I have to give up. I am not a cash person whatsoever. I prefer using my coins, or I'm uh, sorry, my cards, rather than using cash with me, just because, even before COVID, just because it's just a lot more easier than having to sort through all these bills or having to count your coins. So this is gonna be my most disappointing SLG. Don't get me wrong, I think that the monogram eclipse and the hardware is amazing for this. It's just me. It's not the it's not the coin purse. It's just me, <laughs> as a bad breakup line would be. But um, yeah, I just can't find myself to use cash as much as I want to. So this is definitely gonna be my most disappointing Louis Vuitton SLG. Thank you so much for watching. Question of the day is: Tell me something more about your luxury SLGs. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.